All right, it's time to get started here with some Bloodstained Ritual of the Night, a Metroidvania S game, and I have played Metroid and Castlevania Symphony of the Night before, so I guess Miriam will suffice. So I guess we're gonna start with this character, and just for and just for the sake of time, normal sounds good, I guess. The Industrial Revolution ushered in a new era that threatened to transform the values of men. No longer would spirituality be their compass, but not all welcomed the change. In 1783, just as the fires of the Lackey eruption had plunged all of Europe into an ashen darkness, a horde of demons spilled from the shadows and fell upon city after English city. There was a message. The Alchemy Guild, fearing the rise of industrialism and abandonment by their wealthy patrons, had done the unthinkable to defend their existence. Through recondite arts, the alchemists had created shard binders. Humans transplanted with crystal that attuned them to demonic power. They sacrificed the shard binders. And in doing so, threw the gates of the world open to the demon of God. Countless innocents died. And though the church succeeded in vanquishing the hell's end, the steep price had already been paid and collected. As for the shard binders, they were presumed to have all died in the sacrificial rite. However, two survived. Chibo, the boy for whom by some miracle the rite did not prove fatal. Miriam, a girl who spared the rite altogether on account of the strange slumber that took her just before it could begin. Ten years have passed. Mankind too soon forgets tragedy. Demons have returned, presaged by a great castle. And on this very hour, Miriam awakens. Upon learning Jebel is the architect of this new, bloodstained ritual, Miriam and the alchemist Johannes set forth for the accursed castle. Their galleon cuts through the water, lancing towards the inevitable. if not for him. He's a good soul. I know. I know how you feel. But the facts are apparent. And the hell he endured ten years ago would break the best of souls. Miriam, I want you to know that I'm sorry. What my brother subjected you to... There's no forgiving it. It was their transgression, not yours. You... you always took care of us. Obviously not enough. Well, let it go, Johannes. We need to focus on the task ahead. If Jebel is responsible for the summoning, then I have to stop him. I gave him my word. I ought to do it. He was my best friend. But I'm the only one who can. The Shard experiments prepared me for combat. Let them amount to something. <sighs> Ten whole years. What put me in that sleep? I Gee, wish I had it couldn't have been that ritual, could it? All I know is the spell that stopped time for you was... advanced, arcane. But by observing the ebb of the magic's hold on you, I was able to predict exactly when you would wake up. Oh, I see. We'll make landfall soon. You should get ready. 
I had the chest there packed with essential equipment. Now would be a good time to put it on. and a knife, huh? I think just for the sake of argument we're gonna do a good use you're prepared for the knife, excuse me. The next order of business is to I'll take care of it. Claws scraping across my bones. The demon's power was transmuted into that shard, which forcibly bonded to the crystal embedded in your body. The strength you gain from it is undeniable, but eventually, the crystal will devour you. I thought the procedure you discovered halted the corruption. It did, but that doesn't guarantee you'll be safe if you start absorbing shards in massive quantities. So, what was the whole point of this then? I know my body's limits better than anyone. She's saying it halts the uh, crystal, and he's saying safety, but it can't be guaranteed. Are we contradicting ourselves here? And I'm going to need all the power I can get. And if I run into trouble, you can help me. You've done it before. You'll do it again. <laughs> Thanks for giving me a choice in the matter. Well, I won't let you down. Not if I can help it. Just promise you won't push yourself. <laughs> Later, dude. How do they get inside? The demons from the castle must have infested the ship. Then they can help me wake up these muscles of mine. I'll wipe the deck with them. Device responds to magic. Maybe I just need to hold my hand up to it. Ledges.
So I guess it's safe to say that she's pretty much the female version of a uh, Alucard. Just like the, uh, oh, caskets from uh, Symphony of the Night. Oh, yeah. Time long tradition of, uh, breaking sources of light. Yeah, what you want. So 
looks like I'm not all these pads connect, so I am going to have to go back. Said, I think at some point we're gonna do some crafting. Like only the shoes can be that 
sort of thing here. The only real good thing about this is that at least it's gonna give me a chance to level up. So I guess it counts for something, I guess. Okay, so it looks like there's some other way in. Yeah.
chest, chest up there, but I can't get it right now because I don't think I have the right accessories. Sleeping Beauty, you've decided to awaken. And unfortunately, it wasn't a kiss that woke you up either. Chibo, tell me you didn't do this. It doesn't make any sense. How does it not? After all the sins humans wrought upon us? Johannes told me what they did to you. And you're right, it's horrible. But what you're doing now is just as bad. No! No, there you are very wrong. I'm kind of surprised that he didn't make a reference to like, what is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. Symphony of the Night reference right there. What the alchemists did was reshuffle our bodies. What I intend to do is reshuffle the world. I'd say I've earned the right. Join me, Miriam. You're the only one who understands the pain I feel. What it's like to no longer be human. What? I never thought I'd hear those words from you. I was the one that came to you broken. Convinced I was a monster. And you told me... This is nonsense. You told me... Our power doesn't make us good or bad. Our choices do. I'd given up on my humanity. But you restored my hope. Don't you remember? <sighs> Master Jibo, we must return. Yes. Miriam, I tire of reminiscing with you. 
You're here to kill me, aren't you? Then first prove you can find me. Along the way, you'll have no choice but to absorb shards and avail yourself of the powers of hell. If you can still claim to be human at the end of it all, then perhaps I might be more inclined to listen. Come, Gremly. We're leaving. Debo, wait! Boss fight. Jebel, I know. I will put a stop to all this. Jebel summoned? They've moved faster than we hoped. Miriam, we have to hurry. This was where we were supposed to meet our contact. All right. But wait. Let me clear the area. There are still demons about. This should be an opportune time to save. <laughs> Delve into yeah. deeper Castlevania territory.
Thank you, Miriam. You know who I am. And that means... I'm sorry we couldn't get here sooner, Dominique. So this is our contact. Yes, the church sent me. As you can see, I know a thing or two about expelling demons. Considering the fact that none of the text showed up. An exorcist. Then we're lucky to have you, Dominique. And the church you, Miriam. Thank you for guiding her here, Johannes. You wouldn't have asked if it wasn't important. But you should tell us why you need her. Miriam isn't one to shy away from danger, but she deserves to be armed with all the facts. Yes, very well. I told you when I contacted you that the Shardbinder Jebel is responsible for summoning the castle. Yes, there's no mistake about that. He admitted as much. What? You spoke to him? Then let me get right to the point. I find it curious that the outpouring of demons facilitated by one Shardbinder just happens to coincide with the sudden awakening of the other Shardbinder after exactly ten years. You're right, it is strange. But the Church doesn't get to drag Miriam into this just because the timing is odd. Oh, do you decide for her then? I asked you to bring her here so she could see the horrors that have befallen the village and make an informed choice. And she's not your babysitter. I have no intention of forcing you, Miriam. You don't have to. I gave Jeebel my word that I would stop him. What happened here only strengthens my resolve. Thank you, Miriam. I am sorry to put it on your shoulders. Um, pardon me? Oh, we didn't know you were here. Oh, hello there. Are you alright? We didn't mean to ignore you. Actually, we kind of did. I'm alright, thank you. You are quite welcome. Do you have a name? Anne. What a lovely name. Anne, you shouldn't be out here. Let me take you somewhere safe. Oh, all right. Come on, this way. I did some looking around before, and this place seems secure. Yes, agreed. Johannes, you, Anne, and I will remain here. We can assist Miriam from safe ground. What? We can't ask her to brave the castle alone? Don't be foolish. She is trained in combat. Are you? We would only get in the way. But that's not the point. I'll be fine, Johannes. Please don't worry. <sighs> All right. But we'll be here if you need us. Let's not waste any time. We have a lot to do. Come back if you need anything. I'll get a workshop running so I can perform alchemy for you. Thank you, Johannes. I know you're strong, but... Be careful. <laughs> I will. See what you have to offer. Hmm? Dominique, what is all this machinery? That is photographic equipment we've been working on. Photographic? To put it more plainly, it allows me to capture images of real life, landscapes, people. Demonic demons. What? Really? Uh, can I try it? Unfortunately, I don't have the silver bromide I need. I'll see if I can find it. Be right back. Oh, hello, Miss. Oh, you're looking fit as ever. Miriam, welcome. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you a little bit about the supply post. Oh, uh, please. I have made arrangements so you can buy and sell items here. I would have liked to provide what you need for free, but seeing as we are largely cut off from the church's funds out here, I will need money in order to keep the supply post stocked. I hope you don't mind paying. No, I understand. 
I appreciate you doing what you can. I can also buy shards from you if you no longer need them. Wait, is trade in demon shards even allowed? Of course. The church would sooner gather them up and make certain they are purified. I am not permitted to sell them, but I can buy them off you. You may want to keep extras, since possessing multiple shards of the same type amplifies its power. But there is a limit to how far that can go. And more importantly, if you carry a large number of shards, your body's corruption may accelerate. But I'll find a way to deal with that myself. I still recommend selling your shards as a means of making money. All right, I know you're looking out for me. I think that explains everything. Now, would you like to have a look around? What are you looking to sell? Is this right? Thank you. Is this many thanks? What are you looking to buy? So I got over 3,000, huh? Thank you. Is then we have a deal. Is thank you. Is this many thanks? What are you looking to sell? Is this many thanks? Is this right? Many thanks. Thank you. Is this right? Thank you. Is this right? Then we have a deal. Oh, I forgot to give this to you. It's the key to the building. You can use it to explore further in. Thank you. I invited the other survivors inside where it's safe. They all have troubles that need resolving. If you can spare them the time. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Come back any time. I'll be praying for you. Ah, here she is. I have to marvel at the church's resources. Look at what they've provided for us. I know. It's incredible. So, what I can do for you here in the workshop is take materials you bring me and transmute them into new items. But the alchemy is easier to show you than explain. Here, I have some materials we can use. So let's try transmuting them. What are we transmuting this time?
like this. Ooh, I like it. I'll go with this. Once I've transmuted an item, I'll pass it on to Dominique so she can carry it at the supply post for you. I'll do my best to inform you of what items you can make from what materials. But when it comes to items I don't know about, you'll have to find a formula for me and bring it here. I understand. So basically, you have to go shopping. Also, the demon crystal you've obtained, the shards, those can be transmuted the same way as items. Each shard requires specific materials. But it's worth it to make your shards more useful. Try it when you get the chance. I think I will. Also, neither one of us has been eating well. No wonder, considering the struggle we've been through to survive. If you bring me the ingredients, I can use alchemy to prepare meals for us. With proper nutrition and a varied diet, you have the potential to get much stronger. Of course, this isn't considered a date, is it? I have something new to offer you. What are you looking to sell? Is this rock? Thank you. Is this rock? Thank you. Thank you. Come back any time. You there? It was awful. Those monsters came out of nowhere. We ran for dear life. Where are the others? Dead, most of them. My dear husband included. Those devils have to pay! Those murderers! You look strong, miss. I'm begging you. Help me! If it's within my power. Oh, thank you. My name's Lindsay. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, I'll gather whatever information I can about the monsters that wronged us. I want you to hunt down the monsters and take vengeance on them. The efforts won't go unrewarded, I promise you that. All right. I'll do it. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help my husband rest in peace. Kill that murderer dead! I'm glad we feel to rid of those monsters, but they're in a terrible state. I need to replant everything. What will you grow? Well, I haven't decided yet. <laughs> Where are my manners? I'm Harry. Miriam. Tell me, Miriam, do you have anything I might be able to grow? Because if you let me do the farming, I'll give you your share of the harvest, and you won't even have to lift a finger. Oh, all right. I'll keep an eye out. Good. I'll be waiting in the fields.
Can you plant this? Sure, I'll get to work. <laughs> These things take time to grow. What a bloodbath. We were slaughtered. <sighs> but you're not like us. You're strong. I saw you fighting. Oh, it was more luck than skill. Oh, humble, too. My name is Abigail. What's yours? Miriam. Well, Miriam, might I ask you a favor? I want to give the dead a proper burial. Of course. But, but that's not going to be possible for some. In the very least, though, I'd like to bury some keepsake for each of them. A Valkyrie like you should have no trouble finding such things. Can I count on you? I'll see that you're rewarded. I'd be happy to do it. Thank you. Then, let me show you. Thank you.
Titan comes from here, I think that's just a little too high to reach at this point. I really think of it. So that takes care of one quest. Targets for me. Here's what I've turned up on the monster. Good work. Here's your reward. Got any tug? Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help my little sister Rosalie rest in peace. Kill those murderers. Yeah, we know. Hi, Miriam. So, what will it be? Tell me more about what happened ten years ago. It started when the interests of the rich shifted away from the spiritual and esoteric in favor of more material investments. The alchemists' research was expensive. The guild members didn't want to lose their wealthy patrons. So they warned again and again that demons would come if people let go of their spirituality. 
but people don't change that easily. So the alchemists took a more drastic measure. You mean us? The Shardbinders? Yes. It shames me that I was even connected to what they did. But at least you have the facts of it. It's all right. Thank you for telling me. Well, since I can't bring stuff down, I might as well sell it. Hello, Miriam. What are you looking to sell? Is this right? Thank you. Is this thank you? What are you looking to sell? What are you looking to buy? Thank you. I'd rather kill over and die than spend another moment in a living hell like this one. Oh, don't say that. Never you mind me, young lady. What's your name? I'm Susie. Miriam. Is there anything I can do to help? Well... I do enjoy a good meal, but I can't remember the names of the dishes I like. I'll help you figure it out. I promise. I suppose I'll stick around and wait a little while longer. Okay, so we're gonna need rice. See if uh, Harry got some rice uh, planted yet. <laughs> nope. Nothing on that note here. I think it's time to explore. It's good to see you. So, what'll it be? I need. I got the halide, but I'm just gonna need some rice. Oh, uh, about the castle. It may not be much help, but let me tell you what I know. The castle itself was summoned from hell, demons and all. But the site it rests on is where the Alchemists' Guild once lay. So you may find traces of our facilities intermingled with the rest. Now that you mention it. I do remember seeing an area dedicated to the study of Eastern mysticism. Yes, and another of us was researching how to create giant organisms. Anyway, just be mindful of the facility's existence. The knowledge may keep you out of harm's way while you explore. All right, thank you.
Oh, what's this? Oh, this is a warp. Oh, this is just a warp spot. All right. All right, that's uh, good to know. I guess. somewhere.
not really. But I'm pretty sure at some point, uh, I'll be able to dive. It's just not gonna be right now. Oof, dang. Okay, I'm getting out of here. No point in sticking around.
should have stayed out of this. You have a lot to explain for. After all the terrible things you've done? All that is in the past. I'll not be defending my actions to you. But don't I deserve it? You were like a father to me. Enough, child. I am here for the book. Jeebel has the book. What are you talking about? If you don't already know, then let us keep it that way. Alfred, how are you still alive? Ugh, what were you thinking of coming here? You can answer my question first. All that matters is that I am alive. Did you come here for the book? Book? The Liber Logiath? Make no mistake. I won't let anyone touch that tome but me. Not even you should touch it. Didn't what happened ten years ago teach you anything? I don't have time to argue with you. I just hope you are wise enough not to get in my way. <laughs> you know full well my power exceeds yours. Take Miriam and leave this place. Here because something didn't feel right, but I didn't expect him. Johannes, what is the Liber Logiath? It's... it's a book the Alchemy Guild once possessed that allows for the summoning of spirits. The Guild used it to bring about the Calamity ten years ago, and the Shardbinder's crystal acted as a kind of catalyst. A book like that shouldn't even exist. I know. Alfred must be trying to restore the Alchemy Guild to power, but we cannot let him lay hands on the Liber Logiath. He said Chibel had it. You know, I think I might have seen it. It makes sense, considering the situation we're in. He must have gotten his hands on it after surviving the sacrifice. So now I have to stop Alfred, too. No, let's focus on Jeebel. If we can get to him and the book before Alfred does, we'll kill two birds with one stone. Good point. All right. Dominique might know what to do about Alfred in the meantime. I'll head back to the village and see what she has to say.
this would be a good time to go back to the village.
finish the harvest. And a plant. Can you plant this? Sure. Are you eating properly? What are we transmuting this time? I'll go with this. Great! I'll go with this. There, all done. Alfred was your master, wasn't he? Former master. Why? I don't know. I was just wondering if you remember anything about him that I don't. Fair enough. As I recall, he was studying ways of drastically slowing down objects. He was a genius, to be quite honest. But I have no respect for that now. Why not? Because he fought against sacrificing you right to the final moment. Only to change his mind like a coward. I see. Thank you. Did you bring it? That's it? How did you know? Oh, oh, I can't wait to try it. Oh, it's delicious. Uh, save some for me? I feel a little better. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. Don't give up. You're going to get through this. All right, now we're talking. I have something new to offer you. Now let's do some what are you real looking damage. To buy? Cause I think at this point here, I don't think there's well, there's that, but it's really expensive. That's even more expensive. So I guess for the time being, I guess we're just gonna have to stick with the. What are you looking to sell? Is this rock any thanks? Is this any thanks? Is this when we have a deal? Is this when we have a deal? Is this right? Any thanks? What are you looking to buy? Oh, come on. What are you looking to sell? If you need... All right, now dealing with some of these enemies now should be much easier. How are you, Miriam? Getting by. Come back when you can. Wait, what? Tunic I need. Oh well, a pebble tunic. That guy's maybe about the wrong thing. Ah! Should be paying a little more attention. Have anything? 
What are you looking to sell? Is this rough? Thank you. Is this plenty? Thanks. What are you looking to buy? Is this rough? Then we have a deal. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ah! Hello. Here's what you asked for. This is it. That's one more villager we can lay to rest. Here's your reward. Five pieces of rice, huh? anything new. Here's what I've turned up on the monster. Good work. Here's what I've turned up on the monsters. Help my cousin Annette. Kill those men. Yeah, we know. It's good to What are we transmuting this time? out a way to stop the crystal from corrupting me. I hate to say it, but I borrowed a bit from Alfred's research. He was studying ways to slow down objects. My attempts only worked when I placed Enochian script equivalent to what he chose in the same circular pattern. Uh, I think I understand. Sort of. <laughs> Do you now? I understand that you're far smarter than me. And a poor teacher, apparently. Why aren't we ever humble? Actually, now that I think about it...
Hello. What are you looking to sell? Is this right? Thank you. Is this when we have a deal? Is this many thanks? What are you looking to buy? If it makes my attack go up by seven, then it's well worth buying.
all damage. Damaging, but much faster. I'll still hang on to that flame burst, though. It's still a very handy sword. A wolf is required.
Alright, I think that's going to do it for this session here. Alright, thank you to those who watched. I'll see everyone next time. Bye.